Hello everyone. Welcome to the next training session of SAP FICU module. We have been covering the topics under the SAP controlling part and in today's training session we will be covering profit center accounting. Under profit center accounting we will be covering the introduction on profit center accounting, profit center assignments with all other components of SAP. Configuration steps will include basic settings, master data and actual posting maintenance. Moving to the introduction part, profit center accounting is to determine profit for internal areas of responsibility. The main purpose of profit center accounting is to provide the opportunity to analyze and report to the management regarding internal profitability of subunits which can be product or maybe geographical reasons accordingly. Hence it is called a company code within a company code. Profit centers can be set up according to product that is product lines or divisions, geographical factors that could be reason offices or the production sites or function that could be a production or sales department. Every profit center is assigned to the organizational unit controlling area. So profit center accounting is actually not an official controlling module component. Instead, it rests in an area of SAP called Enterprise Controlling. The purpose of Profit Center Accounting is to provide a client with the opportunity to analyze and report internal profitability for its organizational using Profit Center approach rather than the normal business area or company code. Although profit center accounting resides outside of the controlling module, it can be integrated with CO through its controlling area and company code relationships. Profit center accounting can capture the financial statements as well as return on investment also within a company code level and even within the internal profit internal profitability of an organization as well it is called as the management tool to analyze the performance of particular organizational unit and to compare the variances of for taking a strategic decision so the profit center accounting is a similar functionality of special purpose ledger. It can be considered as a predefined special purpose ledger tool so as said that a profit center accounting can be used for the profitability analysis for different reason wise or different product as the company decides uh, as how they want the profitability to be done and the profit center accounting is to meet the profitability reporting requirement that do not align with your company code structure but it is at a br breakdown internally structure like some of the practical examples could be that a profit uh, a particular area of responsibility is subdivided into a single legal entity as in a company code. Suppose for example we divide a particular region into certain subdivided parts like north, south, east and west and these can be held as a profit center and the transactions could be posted on the basis of these profit centers and accordingly the profit can be analyzed on these different reason wise. So the profit center accounting provides you the root of all profitability and most balance sheet related informations to a profit center. So even you can have those balance sheet informations on the basis of different reasons as you categorize different profit centers. 
So profit center is a very important part in analyzing the profitability on different reason to reason or maybe a product wise or a different function wise as, as the organization decides to go for it. So moving on to the next is the profit center assignments which is also known as assignment in profit center accounting. Profit center accounting is called as a parasite. The profit center accounting derives the information from various components or sources indirectly. To do that effectively the profit centers have to assign to various application components as well as to other controlling objects. The assignment of profit center is key functionality within the profit center accounting. So the profit center accounting generates a very few transactions posting postings itself relying instead on the data being generated by the other sources such as goods movement through production and receiving, billing documents through sales and other postings that will receive FI accounting treatment. These external transactions update the profit center accounting through object assignments. The assignments are an important facet to configuring the profit center accounting because without them a proper established environment will never include all the data necessary for the reporting. Cost centers and internal orders all require a profit center assignment at creation time when profit center accounting is active in that particular controlling area. Through these assignment all updates are passed to profit center accounting and the link to the original object namely the internal order or cost center is maintained. Just have a look to the diagram to the next screen how the profit center accounting is been assigned to these different objects and the master data as all around in it. So a profit center is something which has been assigned to a cost center, to internal order, to material master, production order or asset, sales order, profitability segment. So the profit center is assigned to each of these parts from where profit center receives the transaction information from these different objects and masters. So let's for example take one of the key area that is material master as over here. Through these assignment the majority of the profit center accounting postings will occur. Material master concept then moves into the sales order part. So let's take how the profit center accounting is assigned to the material master assignment. With a single assignment on the material master record, the system will identify for SAP the default profit center for all the sales order, production order, goods movement, material transfer and physical inventory adjustments because everywhere the material is being concerned and when a material has been assigned a profit center within its master then obviously the wherever that particular material gets linked to the same profit center is linked from their master from the material master part. So it updates the profit center to every next transaction wherever it moves to that is to sales order or to the production order, goods movement, material transfer and physical inventory adjustments. The view to be maintained on the material master record is the sales. So in the material master one has to maintain the profit center in the sales view under the general plant data view. Once this particular profit center is maintained the profit center will be updated with every transactions which will be having in the successive further. So as with all material master maintenance this setting will have to be maintained for each plant to which the material will be assigned to. The profit center setting is in the general 
plant parameters field group found in the bottom of the view that is the sales view each unique material or plant can have a different profit center assignments SAP will root by default all the revenues or cost of sales data relating to the selling of a material to the profit center assigned on the general plant data view of the material master record. Changing the profit center assignment directly onto the sales order can supersede the material master assignment. However, doing so may turn out to be impractical because as a practical part normally the profit center assigned in the material master under the sales view is what been taken up to the next every transactions wherever the material follows so this is how the profit center is assigned to the material master and from material master only it moves to the production order to the sales order as well so this is what the assignment is done and this assignment is very very important because on the basis of this all the information flows to the profit center indirectly and from that it can be easily have their financials for calculating the profit. Moving to the next now is the configuration steps which includes the basic data, basic settings, next is the master data and then the actual postings. So first moving up to the basic settings part which includes maintain controlling area settings, set control parameters for actual data and maintain plan versions. So let's move up to the first configuration step that is maintain controlling area settings. So the maintain controlling area setting. In this we need to maintain the settings for the profit center accounting where we have to maintain certain of the parameters let's see on the SAP system. So the path is on the screen IMG to controlling then the profit center accounting basic settings and in that controlling area settings. So let's let's move on to the SAP screen and see how it can be done. So first we need to go to SPRO, enter and then we need to move on to the SAP reference IMG option and in that we will be on the IMG screen now we need to go to controlling, expand and then in this the last part is the profit center accounting we need to expand the profit center accounting. In profit center we need to go to this basic settings and in basic settings we need to go to controlling area settings and have to expand this part and in this we can see the first option that is to maintain controlling area settings. So the path is simple first we need to go to the controlling then to profit center accounting then basic settings in basic settings controlling area settings and then maintain controlling area settings. So as we expand, uh, execute this step for maintain controlling area settings, let's ex execute it. You will see this particular screen on your sys on this particular part and you will see a different screen has been opened where the heading is change view ECPSA which means enterprise controlling profit center accounting controlling area settings overview. Now in this particular overview we need to maintain certain parameters first is the standard hierarchy. Standard hierarchy basically is the profit center group which had to be named as a standard hierarchy. Standard hierarchy also known as a tree structure that contains all the profit centers belong to a controlling area and that reflects the organizational structure used in the profit center accounting. So it is basically a kind of a profit center group which has to be named over here in the system. So the name which we can define in this particular standard hierarchy is suppose I give it uh, the name as uh, 
the same as that of the company code that is 1200 as a standard hierarchy for the company the next thing we need to do is it is used for the reporting purpose that's why we need to define the standard hierarchy on the system the next steps come out to be elimination of internal business volumes now activate this field if you want to eliminate the internal activity between two or more account assignment objects that are assigned to the same profit center this setting can be activated or deactivated even after postings have occurred in the controlling area however the effect will not be felt in a retrospective manner previous posted amount will not be picked or eliminated so this particular step is not needed as of but in case you need you can have that but we will not be taking up right now because it is not needed for the concern settings or the customizes moving to the next is profit center local currency type so in this part if the currency type is is as controlling area currency uses the currency of controlling area currency as the profit center currency otherwise if you want to use the same uh, currency type that is of the controlling area in that case we can assign over here and that will be we can see the list of all the different controlling uh, the local currency types as available on the system so uh, out of their three that is 20 30 and 90 20 is for controlling area currency 30 is for group currency and 90 is for profits in the currency so the which we would be needing is the 20 that is the controlling area setting which we need to take over here so you can double click on it and this will be selected or you can select this from over here and then you can go to confirm and it will be selected on the screen so the profit local currency profit center local currency type will be 20 uh, as we have selected now moving to the next is the profit center local currency now in this we need to select the currency of the company code or the controlling area this setting are directly related to the fact that profit center can store transactions posted to three different currencies at one time but what we would be needing as as of now is the currency for the controlling area or the company code so we will be taking is over here as usd dollars moving up to the next is store transaction currency So in the store transaction currency, if you select this particular field, this can be selected only when the transaction currency is stored in the profit center accounting has to be saved and in that case the data volume will increase. So it is recommended if the currency is same that with of that company code currency and the controlling area currency this particular option not to be activated. But if, yes, if the transaction currency is different from the controlling area or the profit center currency, it may be important to have this mark or to have this particular option activated. So as of now, we don't need this activated because the profit center currency, the controlling area currency is same, that is dollars. So it is not required to be selected over here. Moving to the next part is the valuation view. So in the valuation view, we need to select whichever view has to be selected as the options are there in it. There are a couple of different views available on the system with the direct link between the profit centers and the transfer pricing. The use of valuation view field has become increasingly important. There could be three different views to the data. One is a legal view that is legal valuation. Another is a group view that is group valuation. And the third one is a profit center view that is profit center valuation. Now, in the first part, that is one of uh, first one is as the legal valuation or the legal view. Movement of goods are posted between 
profit centers as a previously agreed upon sale price and in this case both internal entries generate as a profit and loss and balance sheet independently and in case if we take the group valuation movement of goods are posted at group production cost price and there are no additional surcharge within the group whereas if we go for the third view that is the profit center valuation movement of goods are posted between profit centers at a negotiated transfer pricing amounts which is used for internal profit determination and corporate management however in a practical scenario the profit center view which has been taken is the legal valuation part so these are three different views which i just had given an overview on moving to the next is we'll be selecting in this particular valuation view is the legal valuation the next comes up is the ale distribution method now this setting whether the profit centers will be managed local locally or in a distribution approach is exactly the same as with the cost centers ale distribution depending upon the approach taken with the profit centers whether they are managed centrally or locally controlled this parameter will be set so right now the parameters there are different parameters as you can see no distribution to other system centralized profit center accounting and the third is profit center decentralized or local so the settings which we will be taking or which we need to take is no distribution to another system so these are the number of different parameters which you need to select in this standard hierarchy you need to decide a one particular standard group that is the profit center group name which has to be taken up on this part the next is the profit center local currency type that will be your controlling currency type next is your profit center local currency that will be your controlling area currency the valuation type has to be legal valuation and the ale distribution method has to be no distribution to other systems so once these all has been taken after that you need to move on to this control indicators now in this the system will default the current year as from fiscal year all settings are good from this year forward if you make changes sap will identify a new from range so we don't need to do that we just need to go for this particular year over here and we just need to activate this option over here on the screen so once this is activated now we can go and we can save this screen and our controlling area settings will be completed for your profit center accounting so as you can see on the screen the data was saved so moving to the next configuration step after completing the first step that is to maintain controlling area settings the next step is to define dummy profit center dummy profit center is the default profit center for the entire controlling area it will capture all postings that do not have a profit center account assignment additionally the dummy profit center will serve as a default for assignment on the cost center master records if one is not manually assigned an entry cannot be made into the field from this screen the assignment is made when the master data is created so first we need to create a dummy master data for which the transaction code is ka59 as on your screen so let's move on and create one of the dummy profit center into the sap system so moving on to the sap screen we need to execute the transaction ke59 so moving on slash n ke59 enter so first we have to give a name to it as a dummy profit center so what we can give it as d u m m y suppose dummy as a name so after that we can click on to the enter 
okay we can go and click on to the basic data so as we click on to the basic data the system took us to the next screen where we have to fill all other details so you can see that the dummy profit center has been created and the controlling area itself has been assigned to it and now we have to define the name so the name for it will be dummy profit center the same name can be defined in the description part as well and even if you want you can give it to the to a fiscal year number as well so as to represent if you want you can assign the person responsible you can also assign the department who is responsible for creating the profit center so for that we can give it as uh, controlling the profit center group has to be assigned so let's select the profit center group so we have selected the profit center group so the system is automatically taken so the profit center group represents the standard hierarchy standard hierarchy which we have just assigned in the last step where we have assigned the standard hierarchy as 1200 the same hierarchy has been taken up over here as profit center group so this is what the basic parameters has to be filled so once we have filled all these basic parameters now we can go and we can save it okay it asks you for the segment so let's select the segment as well so we can select the segment out of this whether your this particular profit center area belongs to a common personal area food medicine which of those department suppose I take it as a common and then I can move on and I can save this particular screen so this is what been created now so once the profit center dummy profit center is activated you cannot deactivate the dummy profit center the assignment of dummy profit center to the company code will be done by default from the system the validity period will be defaulted by the system as we have seen as well on this on that particular screen that it has already been uh, valid period has already been assigned to the dummy profit center so you have to take care that the, once the dummy profit center has been activated it will not be activated during the course of the business so now moving up to the next configuration step that is set control parameter for actual data so with the controlling parameter settings you are defining how the postings will update in the profit center accounting environment so let's move on to this particular configuration step into the SAP system the path is there on your screen controlling profit center accounting then basic settings controlling area settings so moving on to the SAP screen let's move back to the SPRO path now in this path we need to go to first to the basic settings and in basic settings we need to go to controlling area settings so you can see this particular option basic settings then controlling area settings and in controlling area settings we need to go to activate direct postings and in activate direct posting this is the step set control parameter no okay this is it set the control parameters for actual data so the path is simple profit center accounting to back basic settings basic settings to controlling area settings then to activate direct postings and in the activate direct posting set control parameters for actual posting so now we can execute this particular option or the path is even mentioned on this particular screen to you which you can refer up to so this is we are in the second configuration step set control parameters for actual postings now we can execute the second step so as we activated 
the screen is blank as on your system so we need to go to this new entries option first from the header to open a fresh screen so as I click on to the new entries you can see the screen is there in front of you the settings are maintained by the fiscal year on this particular step so in this the system automatically takes the controlling area for you that is Z100 that is the controlling area which we are working on so we need to now go for the next controlling area is automatically been taken by the system now the next comes up is the from here now you need to enter the from here from which the parameter settings should be activated the settings are good from this fiscal year forward so the one which we are defining is 2014 so it is what we are supposed to take the, that is the from year the next comma is the locked set this indicator if you wish to lock the controlling area from any actual posting for your fiscal year settings so if you want to lock the postings to your profit center accounting for that particular fiscal year then in that case you can you can select this option but once you select this option none of your transactions will be posted to the profit center accounting that is why this is not to be selected this is to be selected in some of any adverse situations where uh, the company wants the restriction of profit centers for that particular fiscal year or so so what we have to select in this particular part is the line items now in the line items activate the settings if you want line item transactions to the profit center accounting this will increase the number of documents posted in your system but in many cases it is a must if you plan to do any detailed analysis so it is recommended for you to select the line item option it is useful for better analysis hence it is advisable to have the line item activated the next comes up is the online transfer now this checkbox enable you to post information on line from the other components otherwise we have to post the same manually so if you select this online transfer option on this screen this will activate your profit center accounting automatically during any transaction activity in this settings if you deactivate or you does not activate this particular settings you will be required to transfer the posting manually in that case your documents will not be automatically posted in the profit center from other modules like mm module and the sales and distribution module and all so to have uh, an automatic posting of profit center accounting to from different modules from different components it is advisable to have this option of online transfer to be activated so that is it we need to select line item display we need to select the open item transfer and then we can go and we can save this screen in our configuration are over and complete so moving to the next configuration step now is maintain plan versions now moving on to this to the SPRO path in the SAP system the path is controlling to profit center accounting to basic settings let's move on with the path now SPRO enter we need to go to SAP reference IMG and then we need to go to the controlling expand profit center accounting expand and in profit center accounting we need to go to the basic settings then controlling area settings so basic settings then controlling area settings in controlling area settings now we need to go to actual direct postings and then plan version so actual direct posting expand then we need to go to plan versions expand and in this we can see this first option that is maintain planned version so the path is controlling to profit center accounting to basic settings then to controlling area settings activate direct postings plan versions 
and then maintain plan versions. So once we have on this particular path, we need to execute this particular configuration step as executed. Now we can see on the screen, these are the general version definitions. What we need to do is we need to select this version 0 now and we need to double click onto the profit center part. So this is your profit center accounting. So we need to double click onto the settings in profit center accounting. So as we double click onto the profit center accounting, it will ask you for the controlling area. So you need to give your controlling area Z100 enter. So it takes you to the next screen now which is change view settings for profit center accounting overview. Now in this particular screen you can see there is no year has been defined for a profit center. So we first have to maintain a fiscal year for profit center accounting version. So what we need to do is we need to go to this new entries on the screen and as we select the new entries you can see the options has opened up on the system for you. So we need to select the year over here. So the year which will be taken up is 2014, 2014 fiscal year. The year from on which the profit center accounting is activated. Then we need to select online transaction and line items. And on the last part we need to select the exchange rate type. So the exchange rate type will be M that is average exchange rate. So these are the three parameters which are to be selected onto the screen. Online transfer is selected so that the, uh, the profit center documents can be posted from other integrated modules directly to the profit center accounting and no manual activities will be involved. Line item items are been selected so as to post the line item documents for profit center accounting which will be helpful for the various analysis as well. And the next is in uh, exchange rate type which has to be M that is average exchange rate price to be maintained. So this is how you need to maintain these different parameters. Once these parameters has been assigned we can go and we can save this screen and the setting for profit center accounting is completed. So you can see this is the request which they asked for and this request can be taken up. So we can save this request onto some of different parameters. So that is what I have taken for example. Similarly you can create a request and accordingly save those customization on those requests. So you can see the data was saved that means your configuration has been completed. So this is how we have completed the basic settings of uh, the controlling part. This was, was the basic settings, the first three configuration steps.